One Shot Podcast Twitch stream. I am your host and game master, James D'Amato, and this week we have a really special treat for you guys. We are going to be previewing the New World Magiscola House Rivalry board game. Uh, you might recognize New World Magiscola from their LARPs. Uh, they are one of the largest and like first uh, major Euro LARPs to like come over to the United States and really set up uh, the way they have uh, in Europe. Um, I had a wonderful experience going to Magiscola. It is a beautiful game with mechanics built on consent and uh, like interpersonal communication. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And they've actually taken the world of Magiscola and they've put it into a slightly more consumable board game as not everybody <laughs> has a couple hundred dollars in a weekend to go LARP and pretend to be wizards. What? Uh, but yeah, if you are LARP or LARP curious, I would definitely recommend uh, checking out Magiscola. It was the first major LARP that I ever did. I had a blast, um, and for those who don't know it at all, it is essentially a Harry Potter LARP. Uh, they rent out a university campus uh, that looks sort of like a castle, and you pretend to go to <coughs> wizard school uh, for three days. It's a rad experience, and not only that, but the mechanics are incredibly modern and well thought out, um, and they have put together a really, really wonderful world collaborating with the people who have played the game, and in fact, we're going to see some elements of the playthrough that I was a part of in this board game today. Nice. Uh, but before we uh, go any further with that, I want to introduce people around the table. Uh, first up, we got a special guest coming in from out of town. We got Cap Blackard. Hi. Uh, Cap, do you have any plugs for the people on the stream? Sure, I got some plugs for you. I <laughs> have a couple plugs. <laughs> I'm the lead host for the uh, Nerdy Show Network. We're a podcast network where we do a bunch of talk programming. But we're probably best known for our our role-playing audio dramas where we spice everything up into full music, sound effects, original score, that kind of stuff. And I also am one of the creators of Lightning Dogs, an in-development animated series. Yeah. Um, and you can uh, head over to uh, the Nerdy Show Network, Zemps, is uh, what they said. So you can head over to uh, the Nerdy Show... Ner Nerdyshow.com, Nerdyshow at Nerdy Show on Twitter, etc., etc. And they're on Patreon as well, so uh, if you are somebody who likes to support that cool nerdy media, um, there you, you can go worse places, believe me. <laughs> uh, nerdy Show is a really wonderful network. Um, Thanks, man. Next up, we've got uh, another familiar face and voice, and that's Steve Discount. Howdy, how's it going? Steve, thank you for joining us again. My pleasure. Uh, do you have plugs coming up for us? Uh, sure, I mean, I'll use the same plug I always do. Uh, I help run a major convention here in the in the Chicagoland area called Midwest Fur Fest. We're a pretty large furry convention. Uh, we I've are heard the, of you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully, good things. I hope. Uh huh. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all oh, horrible things. No. Um, we are the first weekend of December. If you want to find us, you can go to uh, at Midwest Fur Fest on Twitter, or you can go to furfest.org. Awesome. And then finally, the last familiar face and voice is Mel Fox. Hi. Uh, Hunt, do you have any plugs that you want to drop on the channel? Um, gosh, I guess I could just plug the things I just did yesterday. Yeah. Uh, first of all, you can find me on Twitter, at Melorella, and yesterday we recorded two games in a row, so Ooh. I am very tired. It was a marathon day yesterday. It was a big day. Uh, next week you're going to hear me on One Shot. Uh, I don't know if you plugged what it... Did you oh, plug what it uh, is? Yeah, it's, it's the Terrible RPG uh, designed by Jim McCore. Uh, that is tear as in to tear paper, not terrible as in bad. Yeah, um, no, that was a lot of fun. We drove Jim to Laughing Tears four times. So I'm very excited to hear how this edits out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, after that, I... GM'd a game mm -hmm. for adventure. Hey. And that'll be coming up in a couple months, and it's Animorphs, uh, so you know it's going to be good. I, I have so many questions about that. Uh, so we, excited. We hacked masks, and it was <laughs> oh. the best decision for it. Yeah, it was very good. Um, so with, with that, I think we're ready to start diving into yeah, our board doing? game. Uh, so uh, New World Magiscola House Rivalry is a board game uh, that is like a, modeled after the world of Magiscola, uh, where very much like the world of Harry Potter, uh, there are different houses that people are divided into at this magical university. And uh, they are competing uh, for the House Cup. So we're all going to be playing students representing our individual houses. Mm -hmm. 
and we are going to be uh, competing for uh, the House Cup uh, through our academic performance and like various feats of heroism that we perform uh, throughout uh, school. So it's kind of like academic decathlon, but with more magic and possibly some death. Yeah, well, I mean, like really what we're doing is playing out our character's like whole term at Magic School. Oh, wow. Like, this, these are all of our years of grad school, essentially, <laughs> uh, that we're doing. Yeah, it is, but, but it'll be fun and magic yeah. instead yeah. of normal. Grad school's fun. Um, <laughs> oh, I, the PhD I forgot to hand out the required courses. Um, Magiscola, uh, it, like not only is it uh, bringing this uh, wonderful uh, Nordic LARP style over to the US, but also uh, the fiction is grounded in a firm sense of social justice and they make it a core part of like the world's experience. Uh, the required course that every person must take uh, in order to uh, graduate New World Magiscola is Magical Theory and the Ethics of the Arcane. Um, and that sort of like everybody has a uh, social justice and uh, ethics like mindset attending Magiscola. Mm -hmm. um, now that we have our required courses like uh, set in front of us, it's time for you guys to pick your houses. And I say you guys pick your houses. Because the house that I have elected to choose is the one that I went to when I attended Magiscola, and that's Casa Calisela. Um, uh, Calisela is sort of like the prankster house. Um, typically, they don't do well in the house cup, though in my playthrough, we came in second place. Um, uh. <laughs> uh, for a Calisela student, you have a certain disregard for rules and limitations and are full of cunning and mischief. One must honor the past and the way things are, but also look ahead to make things better for all. Um, I'm going to read through the other houses. Uh, the next up is Dan Obey. This is actually the house that won the House Cup uh, in my playthrough. Uh, you have a thirst for knowledge and believe in its power to bring freedom from enslavement. You val value transformation, renewal, and wisdom. Through, uh, through, you, uh, through you strive to... Though you strive to use your uh, power, skill, and clear thinking for good, you also recognize when something toxic needs to be eliminated. Um, there is House Croatian. Uh, you value tradition, honor, and bold action to uphold and protect the Magimunde and their secrets. You are a mage to be respected and have big plans that can change the world. Uh, there is Mason Dubois. You are a you, uh, with a strong inner compass, your convictions are unassailable, and you value strength and perseverance and loyalty above all. Bears may roar, but they also hug, right? I'm just going to put this over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> and there's Le Quai Laveau. Uh, like the alligator, you often lie in wait. Then, at the opportune time, you seize what you want. The world is your playground in the dark and the light. You are the master of your domain. Uh, you can guess which house is the Slytherin analog, probably. Um, <laughs> so, uh, with that, uh, you guys, what are you what are you being pulled towards for your houses? I I'm immediately drawn to the uh, the Dan Obia. Yeah. Because I I think that uh, Santeria and Obia practices are really fascinating, and so whatever like and the the description seems to be aligned with like what my personal magical ethics would be. I yeah. Think. Uh, the, the, when in my playthrough, they were the big social justice house. Like the reason that they won the House Cup was the house completely united to like provide like some sort of social liberation for one of the cryptids. Like, uh, a big thing in the Magiscola universe <laughs> is that uh, they argue that, uh, what is it, the Chupacabra is a sapient creature and therefore needs to be respected like a human being. And in most Magiscola LARPs, one of the main, like, arguments or, or points of storytelling is people, like, sort of like, no, we have to expand rights for, for these people because even though they don't look like us, they're still people. Um, and it's like sort of a fascinating thing, but uh, <laughs> the students this really like latched onto that. Insane LARPing experience. I, it was I, wild. I'm I'm still struggling to really grasp the final form of this. Oh man! Did you did you play in the scenario or the instance where I think Shoshana Kesik was playing one of the teachers? I am not sure. Because she had a really interesting essay on her on her blog website about her experience about being a teacher and the parallels of what she was viewing from that whole experience while also coming in as a Jewish player and looking at that experience. Oh, that's It's really, really fascinating. 
Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, like, because we didn't learn each other's non-wizard names, really. <laughs> <laughs> you were going in, and you just met everybody as their wizard persona, and then uh, learned who they were afterwards. Um, bye, see you later, Jordan. Okay, so now that we've picked our houses, it is time for people to pick their characters. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's right, you gotta pick your house. Where, which there's, one do you want? That's, um, do you want the evil one? Or do you want the huggable bear? I feel like I should be playing the bear house as the gay bear at the table. <laughs> Unless you want the bear one. No, I don't care. Okay. Should I be evil, or did, would it be helpful if there was a mix? Um, well, in this, I mean, in the social justice fabric of how I'm interpreting this, certainly the the alligator's not inherently evil. It's not, oh, inherently, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not inherently evil. They did try to kill a lot of people in our playthrough, but that's not inherent. Uh, I mean... They clearly had a reason, right? I mean, right? But if we're not defining me, but my play style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, so the next thing uh, that we need to do to get started is choose our characters. Uh, now, uh, they have provided cards with just a bunch of like colorful, evocative character art um, for people to pick from. There's nothing here that, like, I, there are mechanics written on these cards, uh, but I haven't learned them. Uh, I don't expect <laughs> anybody at the table to, like, make decisions. Let, let's cut to the close-up cam so that we can look over some of these characters. Like, I, I don't expect anybody to make these decisions based on mechanics. My advice is to just pick pick the look that you like. The oh, art man. is really gorgeous. The art is stunning. I do um, love uh, how many of these people are named This Could Be You. Yes. I, I, th that Bingo. Is, Look at this horrible idiot. Well, the this could be yous are going <laughs> to be uh, characters that are overwritten by people that back the Kickstarter. Um, so, like, their art will change because a lot of uh, the older people that you see here are professors. Um, that That's their art for in-universe professors uh, when ideally, like, we'll have students attending this college. Not to say that we won't have a <laughs> mix of ages in that respect. Uh, but with that, is anybody drawn to a particular character look? Gotta assess the other side of the table. Um, Let's cut back to the yeah. <laughs> Look at this trash baby. <laughs> How do I say no to him? <laughs> What's his name? Jax Slagger. <laughs> Slagger Slagger. There's a guy here named Cactus Cat, which is wow. <laughs> oh no, that, that's that's oh that's his animal that he oh. has. Yeah, oh. I think their name is up top. Ah, Martin Spinoza. Not as cool as a dude being named Cactus, Cactus Cat. Cat. Yo, I'm Cactus Cat. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go Juniper Williams, uh, who just has a, a lovely dog with a bow tie on. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's got a toy poodle. What's what's that um, the magenta-y black card over there? Mm -hmm. oh, that one, yeah. This one, yeah. I think I'm going to go with this one. Uh, they don't have a name yet, but the animal that's on here is Triple Eagle. Hell yeah. So, uh, I mean, eagle. what's better than one eagle? Is but it triple, triple eagles? eagles? Trio. Uh, so is that lady over there normal cat? This one? No, the, uh, the, the, uh, the purple background with the scarlet kind of dress. This one. Is this oh, oh man, there's so much going on she's here. She's got a little dragon. There's a lot of them. Here yeah, it, sa it says cat, but yeah, she clearly has a dragon. So yeah, the, I mean, the uh, animals uh, that you have, like the yeah. pets that you have, like in the game, different, uh, like, Spells can be cast and like animals can get sick and it'll be uh, like, oh, all cats get like a cold and it's going to take some of your time to take care of that animal. Oh, bummer. Um, that's the worst. It is the worst I, and the best. I'm going to go with, uh, with this dude that's got a cactus cat because that's just, that's just a funny weird thing. I don't oh, know yeah. what it means, but... Uh, that's actually a cryptid. That's, that's oh. <laughs> an American cryptid is the cactus cat. It is a cactus that... Looks like a cat and sort of is a cat in weird ways. <laughs> is that any relation to a compass cat? Uh, uh, zero, because I think a cactus cat is public domain, and compass cats are clearly copyright of the OneShot Network. <laughs> um, but uh, with that, I'm going to hand out uh, these time cubes to people. Uh, this is a resource management uh, game that's sort of got elements of worker placement. Uh, the time cubes represent the amount of time that you have to do things uh, in your years at the university. Uh, as anybody who has gone to a university knows, time is a precious resource, <laughs> and you don't always have every all, all the time 
that you want for all the things that you want to do. Um, so here are 15 time cubes going over to cap. You also have three grade cubes. Um, that means you can only be enrolled in three classes at any given time. Um, when I was in college, a lot of my time was spent playing The Sims. <laughs> These time cubes seem to be distinctly different from the, the theory of time cubes. Yes. It, word God is bad math, or et cetera, et cetera. I don't remember much of else else of it. I, yeah, I, I, that is the thing that I first thought of when I heard the term <laughs> time cube in game. Um, that would just be quite a game. <laughs> I think there are like two or three games based around that that I have encountered. Um, so there we go. I think I spent most of there. my undergrad LARPing. Yeah, literally almost, most to all my weekends were LARPing. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Seems like a good thing. Good to clear your head when, you know, oh, yeah. in the midst I mean, of all that. It was, it was definitely a, uh, it was a good way to deal with stress via escapism. And here's 15 cubes for you, Steve. Thank you. Um, so everybody's got 15 time cubes and three grade cubes. Uh, you're going to place them on your resource pool for this mat. Finally, we're going to hand out conjure cards for people. Oops, this course, no, that's not left out unintentionally, okay. Conjure cards are... So, Zemsi in the, in the chat says mm -hmm. that uh, Cactus Cat sounds like a, like a frat boy name, but I think it's more of kind of like a, a Matt Berry sort of pompousy <laughs> Goblin King sort of voice. Ooh, I do. I, I, like, I feel like I like both takes on that nickname. I mean, because, yeah, you could be like, I'm Cactus Cat, dog! Yeah. Or, or you could be like, I'm Cactus Cat. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not think of a name. I do like the idea of just, like, a cool southern person, like, I, they call me oh. the Cactus Cat. Yeah, that, that. Mm -hmm. mm. That's syrupy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, time cubes. Okay, that's right. Uh, so everybody is going to start Magical Theory and the Ethics of the Arcane with a C. Unless the uh, rules on your uh, house sheet change it, um, oh there are two uh, little like abilities that you have that may or may not change your grade. For instance, uh, people who are from Casa Calisela start at a minus one grade for courses with the book symbol. Um, any symbol on the side of the card highlighted in yellow is considered part of the course. Mm -hmm. So rather than starting with a C, uh, my cool kid starts with a D. Because, um, you know, we're too busy pranking people. So at Le Quai Le Beau, mm -hmm. uh, because this has a little skull on it and I have night vision, I get to begin all courses that have a skull on it with an A. Whoa. Yeah, pretty dope. I... Goth kids know the shit! <laughs> I just get to go to class. <laughs> Sucker. All right, and Normal. after... Hey, hard work's important. After we've <laughs> adjusted our uh, grades to fit our character abilities, it's time to deal out the conjure cards. Everybody has a symbol uh, on their card, uh, their character card that lets them know their starting conjure card hand size. Uh, I have two, I believe Mel has one, and Steve, what do you want? I have two. Can I look up? Two, yes, you can look Thank at these. You. So uh, these conjure cards uh, have abilities that you're going to be able to activate during the game. Uh, the game is pretty simple. Uh, it is a game where uh, you start each round with upkeep, that's drawing a conjure card uh, and doing any upkeep actions listed on your classes or clubs. Uh, then we go into a choice phase. There are three different types of action in this game. Uh, the first is enroll, the second is study, and third is conjure. Uh, when you enroll, you pick a course. Uh, you're going to be able to choose any of these three actions to be your action for the turn. Mm. If you select it as your action, uh, then you will be using the selected uh, bit of the ability, and you'll find that on your character sheet right below your uh, flavor text scroll. Um, if you don't select it, but someone else does, you will use the routine ability. Um, for instance, if I wanted to study, um, I could select study and... <coughs> 
I would be able to remove. I would be able to move my grade up uh, three times, or remove three time cubes uh, from any one of my courses. Uh, I forgot to point out that magical theory and ethics of the arcane should start with ten time cubes on it. Oh. Um, so, like, because that's the required course that we all have, like, there's going to be a lot of time spent on it. Uh, so if I wanted to improve my grade, I would select study, and then I'd either be able to remove three time cubes or move my grade up three times or, you know, remove two time cubes and move my grade once, however you want to divide that. Um, because I selected that, even if somebody did not select study, they would be able to uh, change their grade once or remove one time cube. Mm. Um, so uh, you are sort of like playing the mind game of, ooh, do I want to select the thing that I want to do or do I want to get at the secondary thing? Am I depending on other people making a different move than I am? Um, for enroll, the selected ability is to draw three course cards or a club <laughs> card and play one, discarding the rest. Uh, the routine is to simply draw a course or club card and decide whether you want to play it or discard it. Um, for conjure, uh, if you use the selected ability, you'll be able to play two conjure cards. And uh, they can have, and I will show this off to the stream if we cut to the close-up cam, um, on conjure cards, you'll see this yellow flame in the corner. That means it is a powerful conjure and can only be used when you do the selected conjure action. Uh, let's cut back to the wide. Um, those are the basic rules. Uh, what we are trying to do is either make it to 100 house points or uh, be the oh. first to graduate. Um, when somebody graduates, the game will end after that round. Um, so graduating, in order to graduate, you need to complete Magical Theory and Ethics of the Arcane uh, and three other courses and two clubs. Mm. Um, if you do that, you're out. Um, I know that was a lot of rules to absorb before the game, and I usually find the best way to learn a game is to just start playing it. Um, so I am going to start off as the wand bearer. Uh, I will have just this blue die that I pass around. Uh, the wand bearer uh, takes the first action um, and also uh, chooses uh, the Magiscola card at the end of the round. Uh, we'll explain that when we come to it. Ah, I forgot the last thing that I need here um, is to give out... Let's see, does anybody have black cubes? No. Perfect. Um, so we're going to have uh, these black cubes here you'll use to make your selection on the action that you're going to do for the turn. And for House Laveau, I'm going to take one of your time cubes and replace it with a brown one. Uh, so your score cube is going to be black, and we'll start that at seven. Um, for Does me everyone at Calisela, at I'm going to, yes, okay. I'm going to be orange. Uh, for Cap, that's easy, it's green, because both of their things are green. And we're going to have a white for Steve. Um, everybody starts uh, the game at seven, and points will be adjusted as we take actions. Uh, so in order to begin the game, uh, we need to each look at our boards and decide whether we want to enroll, study, or conjure this round. Um, so you make your selection sort of in secret, and uh, once everybody has made their selection, we'll reveal those and we'll actually play them out. Uh, okay, so should we just put the cube just, on? Yeah, and... put the cube on. Um, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> it's uh, You know what? It's the beginning of the game. They're all kind of good. So Conjure would use the a card in our hand? Yes. Uh, Conjure, you would use the card in your hand. Um, is 10 a lot for a course? Or 10 is, ten is sort of a lot because like it, it's taken up like two-thirds of your time. Oh, and I forgot to mention earlier, I looked at my card. Um, mm -hmm. So I get to place one fewer time cube on courses when I play them. And this includes Magical Theory and Ethics of the Arcane. So cool. I get to start with 9 instead of 10. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, also, hand size. How big is the hand, hand size? Hand size, uh, hand limit is six. Um, For uh, me, it's five, because I got a minus one. Mm. As per my, uh, what are we, school, house, house. house yes. yes. <laughs> um, so with that, uh, I think it's time to reveal our actions. I uh, chose to enroll this round. Um, looks like we have three people <laughs> who are enrolling. Um, 
So to enroll, uh, we draw uh, three course or club cards. I actually just want three club cards. Um, and we get to choose one of them to keep and discard the others. Um, so, Cap, if you would All like right. to choose course or club. I'm going out on course. So what is the difference, again, between a selected move and a routine move? Um, so selected move is slightly better. Okay. Um, it's like a stronger version, because the routine move, you'd only be able to pick one, and you either use that or don't use and that. And when does the routine happen? Uh, the routine happens when somebody else has selected it, because Mel will be doing the routine and roll this round. Okay. Because somebody oh. else has selected it, so that means she gets to do the lesser version of it because she didn't choose it. Okay, so I can pick three you can pick courses three. or clubs. I'm very yeah. confused. So because other people selected to enroll, uh -huh. you're going to be yeah. able to enroll at the routine level, because it looks like you selected to conjure... Um, uh -huh. uh, other people are going to be able to conjure at the routine level. Oh. Uh, so, okay. and because nobody selected to study, nobody can study at either level. Oh. Um, let's see here. Are we limited in the number of time cubes that we use? Yes. Uh, you you've use? only got those 15. So. Um, if you overextend yourself, it's not going to be good for you. Got it. How are we handling discards? Um, discards, I, let's just do it face up next to the thing so that we can shuffle it in. Um, okay. I am going to play uh, as my enrollment, Explorers of the, Eter of the Eternal. That is a club that I've enrolled in. Um, because I am House Kalisela, uh, when I complete a club, I get three bonus ho house points. Um, but Explorers of the Eternal, uh, when I complete this club, I may discard any number of conjure cards from my hand for minus one time to my courses uh, for each conjure card discarded. So... Um, that will be useful to me in time. Uh, did you select to enroll in a course? I did. I'm going to enroll in Herbology and Parabotany. Now, do you have the time cubes to cover it? I do not yet, no. What does um, that mean? So that have means... I, you, 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 I just made a terrible mistake. Yes, you've made a terrible <laughs> mistake, but it's okay because we're learning to play the game. So in order to enroll a, in a course, you actually need to have the time to do it. Well, there's only one choice then, <laughs> <laughs> which is Magical Creature Care, Anatomy, and Ecology. And that's a good thing that Cap chose the enroll selection because without that, they wouldn't be. In, it's very likely that they wouldn't have been able to enroll in anything at all. Mm -hmm. um, Steve. All right. Um, I will be uh, enrolling in... A ritual magic class. All right. And do I start with a C? Everybody starts with a C unless right. uh, the abilities on your sheet state otherwise. Do we want to, should we read the flavor text that's on here? Yeah, read, read the flavor text. Get uh, into it. You, you went first, so I'd say. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so for the Explorers of the Eternal, you decided, uh, or you decoded the clues to find the location and time of the secret meeting. Wear your best wizard nightwear and come for the delicious snacks, but stay for the exploration of difficult mysteries of the magical world. So I, my, again, delightful Juniper Williams, who brought her poodle with a bow tie uh, to school, is eating snacks and decoding puzzles in her free time, uh, which I think is delightful. Well, the studious Martin Spinoza, um, Spinoza, Spinoza, Spinoza uh, is going to learn about all creatures, great and small, cuddly and terrifying, powerful and pitiful, learn magical creatures' biology, diet, habitat, magical uses, and defenses, includes sustainable harvesting and protection of endangered creatures, as well as poaching, trafficking, and dark uses. Ooh. Ooh. Very layered courses here. Um, <laughs> uh, this is a university. And, yeah, put your five time cubes on it. Uh, Baron, we are playing New World Magiscola. House Rivalry. Yeah. House Rivalry. Uh, which is going to be on Kickstarter later this month. Um, and I, my class is Ritual Magic. Creating and following the magical recipes of ritual, including gestures, dance, music, geometric forms, location, timing, and sequencing. Understanding the power and intention behind magical ri rituals and how to personalize and perform rituals to achieve the desired result. And it says for my endgame is plus two house points for each dark, course, and club. 
Ooh. Mm. So I guess that that if I get through that class, then I can benefit from that. Yes. Okay. Uh, so like it, it's uh, extreme likelihood that you will get through it. Uh, it depends on uh, the grade that you have. Mm -hmm. Like you can fail a course. Anything that is below, anything that is uh, C and below, is considered failing the course in Magiscola. And Just you can elect, like grad school. Yeah, you can elect to either re-enroll or uh, drop the course and start over. It's just a lot of sunk cost if mm -hmm. you don't re-enroll. Um, Too real. So uh, with that, uh, you get to ch you get to do the simple enroll action, which is either pick a course or a club and either decide to enroll in it or discard it. Uh, I'll do a club. All right. Here's your club. Um, look at it. And... You can look at it and decide whether you want to enroll in it or not. Oh, she's got a devilish look on her face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the disciplinary tribunal. <laughs> You're one of the special few to be selected by faculty to hear cases of alleged violations of school rules. Who did you bribe to gain admission? When another player plays a second conjure card in a round, they lose two house points. Ooh. Oh no. So, um, and you place four time Club. cubes on that one. Excellent. So, uh, now that uh, she's done that action, uh, we get to move to the next round of actions. And it looks like the only other thing uh, chosen was conjure from Mel. So she can uh, conjure up to two conjure cards. She's got only one in her hand, but she's also entitled to use the powerful conjure cards, which have that yellow flame in the corner. So I... Yeah, you can play it. Um, I'm not... I don't know okay. entirely what this does. So uh, this is double okay. time. Uh, equip this to any course you are taking uh, for minus one to that minus one time to that course during. Oh, uh, so time it is passes. minus. Okay, because they don't put the minus in front of the one. It's like one. They minus do. Time. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was confused. Uh, yeah, uh, th there are a couple things that I want to talk so I to could... them about how they do that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so you can place this on whichever uh, course or club you would like. That She's guy. selected to do it on Magical Theory and Ethics of the Arcane. So when we get to Time Passes, we're not there yet, okay. but we're going to be there very soon. Um, uh, that will lose an extra Time Cube, and I just need to make sure if the Magiscola... Oh, yeah. And do we all do the We routine? all get to do the routine conjure action, which is any one card without that yellow flame symbol. Um, and for the people at the table's benefit, the yellow flame symbol is this one here. Um, so if it doesn't have this, uh, we're free to play it. And um, do we also all do the routine study? No, we do not, because nobody chose to study. Um, you can Screw only study. do a routine action if somebody Select chose to do it. Actions. Okay. I got it. All right. And I assume deploying conjurations here is purely optional. It right? is completely optional. It's wonderful. I abstain. <laughs> if I grabbed another conjure card, could I just keep it? Or... Um, if you grabbed another conjure card, so you'll you'll draw at the beginning of the round. Um, okay. So, I drew at the beginning. Okay, you said I had the option to draw another card. I didn't know. If that no, you had the option like to that. play another card. Oh. Yeah. Um, so if I draw it, I have to play it or discard it. No, you don't have to do anything. Um, for for conjure, you can do up to two if you would like. But that's my is... question. So if I did say I ha I only have one card in front of me, mm -hmm. what if I wanted to do two and I pulled it? Well, yeah. you, so, so yeah, it, if you, you get to draw at the beginning of upkeep, which is going to start next round. So I couldn't, I only had one conjure card in front of me, so I can't do a second. You can't do a second because you don't have it in your hand. Okay, you okay. made it sound like I could. Right. You, That's you, okay. If you did, you could, um, which is probably my mistake. Uh, okay, uh, so I, I am going to play the Fae Queen's play thing, um, which is... Uh, Plus one grade and minus one time to all of my dark courses and clubs. Uh, so that brings me from a D up to a C, and uh, I am going to subtract uh, one time from Magical Ethics and Theory of the Arcane. And how do you determine what is a dark class? Is that what has the That has the it? skull on it, yeah. Um, all the things that say like uh, dark or animal or whatever will also have the little symbol next to it, so okay. you don't have to memorize what that is. Um, but with that, uh, I have played that conjure card, um, so that has been used up. You playing a conjure card? No, I'm just looking. 
Um, okay. So, and that affects all classes? Uh, yeah, that affects all classes that have that dark symbol. Okay. So, um, hard work, I'm going to use this early. Uh, hard work, once per game, out of turn, you may duplicate the effect of a conjure card that was just resolved as if Ooh. it had played, as if you had played the card. You may not duplicate equipable cards. So, uh, that means I get to go, I, do I up one grade and down one time at the exact same time? Just so I understand. So, so yeah, you, you can, oh, I'm sorry, that's right. I played this wrong. So you can either increase the grade or decrease the time. Okay. So I'm going to increase the grade for both of these classes. Perfect. So you're rocking some double Bs. All right. Um, Bs get degrees. And we are now uh, finally at uh, the later stages of this. And I just have to make sure if time passes first or if... Let's see here. It says here. So, yeah, time passes stage. Okay. So, we remove a time cube from every course, club, and equipped conjure in our play space. And what so, about the uh, Magiscola turn? Uh, that will happen right after time passes? Or, no, Magiscola phase comes first. Dang it. I, it's, on, it's on the card. Oh, it's on, it's on the thing? Okay, great. Yeah, so Magiscola phase. Um, I will draw a Magiscola card. Uh, and the card that I have drawn is Find Prickles. Uh, the Wand Bear, that's me, uh, leads the charge to Find Prickles, uh, who is a lost cactus cat. And I score one house point for each animal icon they have on a card they have in play uh, or completed course or club. Uh, looks like I've got no animal icons, so I get nothing for that. I found Prickles, and <coughs> all I got were the holes in my palms for picking up a cactus cat. Um, so I'm going to pass the wand bear over to uh, Cap as time passes. Once again, when time passes, we remove one time cube uh, from each of our things. So this is a second time pass. Uh, so no, just the initial time pass. Okay. I, I I went out of order on that. Gotcha. So okay. Uh, now, uh, Cap, you are the wand bearer, so uh, you get yeah. to choose stuff first, and uh, we'll start with your order. Uh, oh so, what do people want to do? Oh, oh, actually, you have to draw conjure cards. Okay. Duh. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay, so now now we're simply declaring the next things we're going to do. Yeah, so now we're, we're, we're at the choice phase where we choose the action that we want to mm. do and then reveal it. Well, I'm going to study for a change. Yeah, I don't think I have the time. It's going to be a full round before it gets to me. Mm. Oh, actually, I think on that. Has everybody made their choices? Just what? Oh. Hmm. All right. All right. So, uh, Cap, you chose study? I did. Um, who else chose study? All right, so all of you uh, are going to either be able to uh, increase a grade three times, uh, or like any number of grades split between classes up to three times, or remove three time cubes, split however you like. All right. So you've got three things you can do and split it between removing time cubes or increasing grades. I'll go A to A plus. And I uh, did not select study, so I get the routine action, and for that I am going to increase or I'm going to reduce a time cube. And one time cube. Okay, so I have some, some big fundamental questions. Yes. Here. Hopefully I didn't miss something. At the bottom of these cards, mm -hmm. we have this, this sliding scale. Yes. Um, let's do magical theory since we all have that. 
A plus 20, A 15, all the way down to F minus 15. Mm -hmm. I assume that pertains to these time cubes here, right? Those, uh, once the time cubes run out, uh, yeah. the course is over. Mm -hmm. And whatever your grade is, is the grade that you're going to get in the course. Right. And so depending on that, on that will here. determine how many house points you get mm. for the course. So if you graduate, or if you complete the course with an A plus, that's 20 points. If you, uh, for some reason, fail the course, that's minus 15. Yes. Most importantly, that has nothing to do with the time cubes, which is my concern. Yes. Great. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no more time cubes for you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to evenly bump things up to a B and a B and remove a time cube. All right. Um, so that was the study action. I chose, once again, to enroll. I am going to draw three club cards. Oh, when time passes. Oh, you draw, remove your I extra cube. An, I have an extra cube to remove from. Nice. I forgot about my conjure. Is that for all of your classes or just one? No, just the one that it's attached to. OK. I am going to enroll in Fellowship of the Hydra. Um, Fellowship of the Hydra, you've been tapped for membership. We saw you stand up for equality, justice, uh, and an end to prejudice, prejudice of all kinds. Bravo for being bold and compassionate. Um, that will give me uh, three time cubes. And when, <laughs> hilariously, when I complete Fellowship of the Hydra, all other players will lose minus five house points uh, <laughs> when I complete that club. Mm. Great. Because I'm so great and you're all so terrible. That's rotten. Yeah. <laughs> and so the rest of us get to do the routine one, right? Yes. Everybody gets to do routine enroll. So draw one course or club card and uh, choose if you would like to enroll in it. Um, we'll start with Mel. Um, everybody else choose your cards too because otherwise we'll take a long time. So I can't, I don't have enough time for this, so I'm going to discard. Yep. Okay, this is great. Should I tell everybody what it is? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to join the Crossed Wands Club, which sounds pretty very, dope. Very sexual. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it is, congrats, you've been given probationary membership to learn the time-honored tradition of dispute resolution, magical dueling. It's about rules, honor, and good form. Can you make the cut? Most importantly, draw an extra conjure card every upkeep phase. That would oh, be dang. wonderful, Yay. Cap, but you don't have the time for it. Uh, the little I don't? Uh, oh, it, I symbol. The three. The, yeah, the three is how many house points you'll get for completing Damn. it. Damn. <laughs> okay. So, unfortunately, that just mills out. Um, God. You'll be. Hey, man, if you want to cross wands, you got to make time for it. Everybody knows that. Mm. Well, I am joining the Sapiens Advocates Club. Yes. Um, I do have the time for that. I don't get to remove it time, though, for my being the Chancellor's pet, because mm -hmm. it's a club, not a course. Mm -hmm. You've joined the group who believes all creatures demonstrating sapiens must become protected species under Magi Mundi law, especially the Chupacabra. They're not dangerous. Just give them a hug. Uh, when enrolled, ne one negative time in magical ethics during time passes and plus one grade in magical ethics during upkeep. All right. Uh, so that was a pretty lightning fast round. Uh, as the wand bearer, Cap, you get to play the Magiscola card for good or ill. All right. Rare edition. Wand bearer discovers they have a rare first edition of a textbook. They may drop any course other than ethics to draw until they have five conjure cards in hand, then immediately play one non-powerful conjure card. Huh. Keyword there is may. That sounds like a very yeah. uh, you can mulligany kind of uh, thing to happen. Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it would be good for someone like Mel who only has one conjure card. Yeah. Uh, if you've got conjure cards you like, it might be more important to you to hang on to them. But. Yeah. Also, I don't really want to drop a course. So, pass? All right. All right. Pass on that. And uh, that brings us to time passes. Remove so a time cube. One from, from this, one from this. Each of our clubs and classes. And I think I lose two from ethics because of my Sapiens Advocates Club. Mm hmm. All right. Um, so, with that, uh, 
we pass the wand bear over to Steve. All right. And we begin the next round uh, that starts with everybody drawing a conjure card. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Serve <laughs> Thanks. I was I'm being so grabby. I was going to do it in order. No, it's fun. We got to play the game. <laughs> Is there any benefit to discarding con conjure cards? Well, I would imagine specific if you get situation. to a full hand, since you can't keep yeah. drawing ones, or well, I don't know. Yeah, when you when you get to a full hand, like let's say you have six, mm -hmm. uh, you'll be able to discard them uh, when you draw new ones. And there are a bunch of like abilities and actually different conjure cards that will help you do that as well. Oh, and during upkeep, <laughs> I get to go up a grade in ethics. Oh my god. Oh, what a weird card. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody choose your action. Mm. All right. All right. Um, have we all selected? Steve, you're up first. I am going to enroll. Mm hmm. So I'm going to draw, let's go with, if you can hand me two course cards and one club. Of course. Thank you. One club. Thank oh, you. you can mix it up? Yep. Uh, you chose to enroll as well, so. Yeah. How, how would you like to choose? Um, I'll do the same thing. Two courses, one club. All right, two courses and one club. Mm. Clubs have a lot of silly rules to them, uh, and courses usually last longer. Um, Cap and I looks like we're both studying, uh, so we get to do the basic action. I'll draw a club and see if I can afford to do it. And hey, I can! Oh no! Could you, Mr. Extracurricular? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, I unfortunately joined the Cocapelli Choir. Uh, so, boy, sometimes you just have to sing. Join the choir to amplify your talents and make beautiful harmonies. You never know when you may have to sing an angry cockatrice to sleep. While enrolled, you earn up to you, you earn uh, plus five house points each upkeep phase. However, you may only sing or speak in song lyrics instead of talking. If oh, another no. player catches you not singing. Or speaking song lyrics while in the club, lose three house points for each infraction. This is your personal This is gonna hell. be hell. <laughs> wow. I wish I was dead right now. So you're saying his musical improv wasn't your thing? No, it was not. <laughs> I did not anticipate this level of revelry. <laughs> <laughs> did you pick one? I did now. Uh, I'm going to take a class in ritual magic. Creating and following the magical recipes of ritual, including gesture, dance, music, ge geometric forms, location, timing, and sequencing, understanding that power and intention be behind mag magical rituals, and how to personalize and perform rituals to achieve the desired effect. That is five time. Meow. Nice. Um, I am joining the Limestone Lodge. You have been tapped to become a Lugaru. If you choose to undergo the ritual and survive, you'll learn the art of shape-shifting into a wolf at will. Appropriate Sweet. for the furry at the table. Uh, upkeep, score one house point for every moon, course, or club you have in play, including this. Draw a card, conjure card when you complete this. When complete this means when I complete the club. That is correct. And when that happens, does the club's effect run out, or do I still get the benefit from the club effect? The only way you would get a club effect after completing the course is if it happens to have an ability that affects your final house points. <laughs> oh my god, this is my personal hell. <laughs> um. Oh. With that said, it's time to move on to studying. Cap and I selected study, so we do it three times, either increasing a grade or removing time cubes. 
And also, um, you're making me want to sing too, but it's just, it's infectious. I, I pulled a, a club, um, House oh, President. Um, every year, two third year students in each house rise to this position of leadership. Uh, enjoy your new responsibilities, but I'm not third year, am I? Technically, there are no years listed, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, I'm gonna go for it. Third year is just a thing within the fiction. It's sort of nebulous which year we are. <laughs> <laughs> right on, okay. Uh... Kill some time. And so I think you and I, Mel, so get we, to do the routine one. Yeah, so we get to take a plus grade or a minus time. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to take the plus grade. I'm going to minus time on ritual magic. Mm. So therefore, I've completed the course. Mm. Yeah. With an A plus, no With less. With an A plus. So you get to move up seven points? Yes. I'm not sure which one was mine, though. The white cube. So that put me to 14. Awesome. All right. And, and so, so that was, did we? Now it's time for Magis the Magisco oh. Step. Now it's time yep. for the Magisco <laughs> Step. I think that's on me. So Magisco yep. Step. Cactus Cat. Thirsty Cactus Cats break into all the players' liquor cabinets. Good to know we can drink on, uh, on campus. <laughs> that is a thing about the cryptid Cactus Cat. Each player must discard a conjure card from their hand. Hmm. All right. Uh, this is difficult. I have such a repertoire. All right. Cool. So now time passes. So we, we remove, remove one cube from all cards in play. One, two, and three. Oh, I get to remove an extra one from ethics. And then time passes. Or uh, the yeah. wand passes to the left. The wand. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And during upkeep, I get to go upgrade in ethics. Um, and I gain one house point for every moon card that I have. So that's one. And because I'm enrolled in this stupid singing club, I move up five points. Oh. I also completed Explorers of the Eternal. When you complete this club, you may discard any number of conjure cards in my hand for minus one time to each of my courses for each conjure card discarded that way. How are you feeling now? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question about animals. Do we play them and they just hang out for status effects or something? So yeah, if it's a conjure card, it's an equipable <laughs> conjure card. <laughs> they have a special symbol in the corner that I can't quite remember. It's a jackalope. It's a jackalope. <laughs> it probably just sits there. Um. Equipped conjures mm, mm. right here. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think the part that sells is the awkward silence that follows. Mm. <sighs> awkward for you, painful for me. <laughs> Once again, this is my personal hell. This is 
just do the same thing as that except to all my courses? Oh. So, are we done with the upkeep problem? Let's see. So we did, yeah, I think we did upkeep. We need to select what we need to do. Ooh, so. I forgot I get three bonus points because I'm in Kyle Sailor. <clears throat> oh, dang. So if I start a course that doesn't have a skull on it, do I start with a D? Is that what that means? Yeah, it looks like it. Mm -hmm. Brutal. I've got, goth. I've got one like that where, um, for me, I start negative two grades in any vials course. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah. All right, what do I want to do? All right. All right. Good. Good. Did, did we pick a in action? So it looks like you are drawing I'm, three courses or clubs. Yes. I am enrolling. You are enrolling. You are enrolling. I'm going to enroll. We're all enrolling. Wow. So that's the only thing we get to do uh, if I understand what you've told me. That is correct. So I'll get to grab three cards. Oh, thank you. And I'm gonna mix and match. Uh, two Dang. clubs and a course. And can you hand me two courses and a club, please? Certainly. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted two courses and a club again. Would you be upset if I... Oh, dang. All right, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, does it matter what order we do this, or should I just go for it? Cool. Uh, shh. You're part of the completely innocent and totally above-board ritual magic club originally <laughs> from Baja Providence. While enrolled, you earn five house points each upkeep phase. However... You may only whisper instead of talking. If another player catches you not whispering while in this club, minus three house points for each infraction. I think it's totally okay because we're just filming this that you stage whisper and not actually whisper. Cool. Doing great. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready to... Or down, are we going to go this way around for enrolling, or? I guess so. <laughs> I just kind of started, so I don't know. <laughs> it seems like clockwork. I but. took artificery, the art of crafting magical objects such as the gree gree, wands, scrying scopes, load stars, and more. Learn to analyze magical properties and infuse them in objects. Store, enhance, unleash magical energies in objects created to serve a magical purpose. The end of the game, I get two house points for each Earth Course Club card. This is my favorite musical. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you looked like you were having so much fun at the Coca-Cola <laughs> Choir. I decided to join, so I enlisted. Putting three time cubes down, plus the fringe benefits are sure nice. <laughs> <laughs> you seemed pretty alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the best! Apologies if I was peeking. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Any 
anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I get the same benefits. Well, that's it for this round. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first I have to draw the magic skull card. Right? And remember to stage whisper. I am a stage, is this not stage whispering? I guess as long as the stream can hear, it's okay. Is this, what's considered <laughs> stage, stage whisper? Stage whisper Mel sounds like an angsty anime boy. <laughs> I have the hair for it. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, crap. <laughs> Dude, a wyvern ate my homework. Oh, no. Wand bear lose, loses one grade in each course. Dang, yo. That's brutal. And with that, I believe time can finally pass. And maybe with it, the sweet release of death. I have completed my time in the disciplinary tribunal. So what happens? So she'll move that over to her completed courses. And she'll also get three bonus house points. Bringing Laveau up to ten. I also completed the Fellowship of the Hydra. Which means I move up three house points. And you idiots move down five house points. That's so rude. Hey, guess what? However, <laughs> I have a contrary opinion on that. <laughs> I play Trout of Good Fortune. I play out of turn to convert a negative numerical effect into a positive one. So that brings Ooh. you up to 12 points. That's mad dope, y'all. <laughs> All the points have been properly adjusted. I've got one more thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> I completed magical theory and ethics with an A, so I got 15 points. 15 house points to House Levo. Moving up to 20 house points. Mel is now in the lead. Suckers. <laughs> <laughs> now we gotta choose our actions for the next round. I think the wand passes. Oh, yeah. That's, that's true. It passes true. back to me. Great. And we gotta choose our actions. I think we still have enough. Oh, that's right. Make sure you draw your conjure card. And I think we're all part of clubs that get plus five. Oh, that's true. <laughs> this is pretty great. 25 points to Laveau. 23 points to Kali Sela. See, Dan Obey moves to 17. Oh, no, wait, that was... Oh, no, that's Mason Dubois is up to 15. So you were taking into account the Cocapelli Choir, correct? Yes, I was. Well, here's another thing. Ooh. When... Because I'm the house president, that means that anything with a mundane course or club gives me one extra point. That's one on account of the Cocapelli Choir. Thank you kindly. Okay. <laughs> I also, because I'm a working on becoming a Lugaroo, we'll see if it works out. Hopefully I don't die. Um, since I have one, cl one club, two clubs that are with the moon, I get two house points. Moving you up to 17. Okay, I think that's all the upkeep bullshit that we had to do. 
It's time oh, to Axel. make your choice. I've made my selection. I'll start first. I chose to study. So that's moving my grade three times or removing time cubes. Stop thinking. Sorry. Uh, I chose to enroll again. Well, James, I'm gonna conjure. I've got some things to do. Okay, let's finish the studies first. Well. Anybody who wasn't studying also gets to move a grade or remove a time cube. Then we'll go to conjuring, and after that, looks like we'll enroll. Okay, now it's time to conjure. Let's do this thing. First, I'm gonna whip out a gremlin. Oh, oh, that could have gone very bad. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. You find a gremlin in the artificery lab. You need to feed them a snipe if you have one. The next time you play a conjure card that has an illustration with a snipe on it, which is the fuzzy little ball looks like a triple but two straws stuck in it. <laughs> I would get five house points. And discard it from play. But that ain't happening yet, no siree. However, in an in, in a scenario where there's a question, I've got the right answer. And it's got a cool wolf on it. <laughs> <laughs> the attaboy is nice. The house points are better. Score five house points, then roll a die. On four to six, put this card back in your hand. Damn! <laughs> but that's still five house points. Thanks. <laughs> Tying you up with me at 23. Now, does anybody have any lesser conjure actions that they'd like to do? Well, Steven, are you a gambling man? That depends. Well, too bad anyway. <laughs> We're gonna be passing notes because I've got a really great relationship quiz I want you to try out. <laughs> Here's how this is going down. I passed a note to another student. And choose another player and I've already done this. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna roll a die. If I roll a one, I get caught and I lose five house points. Roll a two, success, and we both get two house points. Three to six, we both get caught and lose five house points. Great. What fun we're gonna have. Here we go. Looks like you yes, both man. lose five <laughs> house points. Thanks, friend. <laughs> It was worth it. Uh, now I know your secrets. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> that dating that. quiz made you guys an optimal match. Unfortunately, for detention, now, the teacher also knows our secrets. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, but um, conjure just a real quick thing. Yeah. You know, uh, I can play this out of turn when you gained five or more house points at once, uh, you get three negative Did grade. not gain any house points on that, I believe. <laughs> you one. both lost five. The, the, the thing where they got five and then had to roll to see if it went back to the Oh place. yeah, that happened a little bit ago too. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> so, turnabout's fair play. It's true. <laughs> You may play this out of turn when another player gains five or more house points at once. They get three negative grades in a course in play as the Jiwa Satan eats their joy. Oh boy, that sucks. <laughs> Your joy got eaten up. 
And you're also in detention for passing notes. All right, I'm gonna need to see that card. <laughs> Cause it's kind of complicated. Minus three grades, of course. Play, all right, okay, here we go. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Well, I've got a D in magical theory. <laughs> and it sure don't feel good. But I guess I was asking for it. You flew too high. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna equip a conjuration card. And I have a time twister. I think that's a powerful one though. Is that so not I something I can, can do? You didn't choose to conjure, so you can't use anything with a flame symbol. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I can't do any of my conjures either. So that means we pass to Steve who chose to enroll. Uh, can I get three courses? Three courses for Steve. Can I get three courses? Also three courses for Mel and we sh Oh wait, one more is left. I'm gonna grab that one course and shuffle the rest. Here you go. I am enrolling in charms, hexes, and mind magic. Ooh. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I put an eight instead. So, enhance your knowledge of spells for all seasons and purposes. You'll learn wand forms, intent, focus, and incantations, with a special focus on memories, secrets, lies, and truth. End game, plus two house points for each dark course and club. I'm enrolling in crystallography, metallurgy, and elemental magic. Natural and synthetic elements each hold magical energies that can be combined and wielded by those who focus and target their own magic. Learn the properties of various wood, stones, ores, gems, and soils to meet your magical needs. End game, plus three house points for each earth course or club. I don't have any time for new classes. Did you have anything you wanted to enroll in? Um, well, wait a minute. So this would be the kind of turn in which I would just grab one thing because I didn't select enroll, correct? Correct. So you grab one thing and either use or discard it. That's dope. Nope, no, can't do. <laughs> Then the last action that we're doing is studying. I chose to study so I could remove some fucking time cubes. These are the dice. And my obligation to this choir is over. My hell is complete. I can resume normal play. Oh my god, it's over. It's over. Are we officially in the time passes? No, I was studying. Studying, you can remove time cubes from things, and I chose to kill the choir. I'm also going to remove one time cube from each of my classes. Okay. Uh, so with that out of the way, uh, does, uh, since nobody else selected study, you just do either remove a, one time cube or increase a grade. Um, Cap, you may want to increase that D. <laughs> I sure would. Um. Oh, Cap, 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 Cap. Yeah. You're still obligated to that choir. I'm the only one who's free of the choir. <gasps> oh. Mm. Is that an infraction? That's an infraction. Minus three house points. Woe is me. What a bleak reality. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going up to C. That's the way it is, baby. 
All right. Uh, so any any other studying things that people have to do? Okay. So uh, now it is time for the Magiscola step. Um, and the Cinnabar Society Fund. The Cinnabar Society Fund is accepting donations. All students may participate. For every conjure card you discard from your hand, score one house point to all the highest... Uh, all the highest donors receive an additional five house points. So that means if some people are tied, um, I can do it. These are actually all really good. I don't think I'm going to donate. So you donated one? So Mel donated one. Steve or Cap, you guys going to donate? I'm going to donate. Ooh. Oh, Mel's in a bidding war now. That's fine. All right, two highest donors are two. We're still uh, club friends, right? So it yeah, looks like you guys good. were the only people who contributed. Both gained five house points. What, what? So, let's see. Oh, I think, it's 30 an, mil. I think it's an additional of five points. Yes. So I think we both get seven. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, so, uh, that is the end. Time is going to pass for everybody. All right. I just finished up my course on magical theory and ethics of the arcane. Oh, boy. Congratulations. I'm out of the club. Sorry, bro, but I'm done with Obsidian Club. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper time is over. It's I don't tight. have a completion bonus, but since this is the end of it, do I get this is another. Uh, no, because the upkeep starts next round. So I only really got to use this for one round. You only, did you remove a time cube from it? You should have gotten two rounds out of that. Yeah. Because it starts with three, it, one gets removed the first one, uh, two on the second, and three on the third, so you would have gotten ten points total from it. I don't know how. Then we just probably skipped giving you Maybe. points. Maybe. Three, four, and five. So I also finished my time with the Seed Beans of Advocates Club. So I get an A+. Oh, so don't, don't discard these. These oh, are... Oh, duh, yeah, sorry. Those are completed so courses. I got a completion bonus of four. Four, all right. And I get 20 house points for my A+. Oh, ho, ho. Dang. Moving you up to 24. 43. Hell yeah. Steve now taking a commanding lead. Um, okay. Uh, so that's time passes. Uh, Cap is now the wand bearer, and remember, you do you are still singing. Oh, I remember. I remember very well. <laughs> okay. And I also just passed magical creature care, anatomy, and ecology with a B, which is not great, but I get two house points. Yes, now it's time for upkeep. You don't, Why are you I doing don't it have again? to sing anymore. It's just You're a stuck there. I'm still in hell, baby. So in that case, I get three house points for my three moon cards. Ooh, okay. And I get five being in the choir. That's right. And one for being the president. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! There it is, I found it. There we go. Okay, um, so that's upkeep. Uh, now it's time for us to make our selections. Oh yeah. Um, and Cap, since you're the wand bear, start us off. What did you select? I'm studying right now. Got to hit the books. Okay. I'm studying as well. Is this your conjure card? Mm -hmm. It's not. I got a bunch now. Do we wait? Did we draw conjure cards at the top of the round? Oh, so wait, maybe this is yeah. yours. Oh, you set one there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you did that. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anybody, everybody else wrapped up their studying? 
Uh, I still need to do it. What? Study. Uh, so then. I picked a study. So oh. So oh. Do, 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 everybody okay. who picked study, do your study actions. One, two. Oh, cool. I will end this and class three. now then. Ritual magic. Yep. With a seven. Yep, seven points. A plus seven points. Okay. Let's see where you are. Purple cube. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Forty-four. Okay. Um, I chose to enroll. So I'm going to pick three courses. on my heels. Yep. Great. It's me. It's you. <laughs> it's me. Don't worry, I'll get out of this library soon enough. So, <clears throat> I am <clears throat> also going to use um, play out of turn the quill swap. Uh, play out of turn when you enroll in a course gain plus one grade and minus one time to that course. Um, so I, um, this, oh, this doesn't even involve uh, books. So I start off with a B on this one. Um, and instead of dedicating nine cubes to it, I am dedicating only eight. Um, <clears throat> and that is my turn. Uh, you guys can do the routine enroll, which is grabbing one and deciding to either enroll it or not. And we can do either a course or a club? Yeah. Okay. Check out a course. I'm gonna take Magic of Combat and Defense. Of course you hope to never get into a fight, but if you do, you'll want to prevail. Master techniques for evading and subduing and vanquishing opponents, and for protecting yourself from all manner of hexes and aggression. Okay. I'm going to enroll in Magical Forensics. Ooh. Yeah, you really gotta trail that ass. That makes it a whisper. Every use of magic leaves a trace if you know how to detect it. Techniques for discovering the who, how, when, and where of magical use, both to solve crimes and to hack magical recipes, includes making and breaking wards. End game, plus two house points for each mundane course or club. Mmm. All right. Um, so, uh, with that, we've gone through the actions. It's now time for the wand bearer to take a Magiscola action. <clears throat> Here's what's up, y'all. <laughs> each student gains or loses house points based on their grade in each of their courses. A plus gets plus two house points. C gets minus one house points. A gets, I'm reading this out of order, I'm sorry. <laughs> A plus plus two, A plus one, B no house points, C minus one, D minus two, F minus three. <laughs> this card is brutal as can be. <laughs> I go up one. I go up two, minus one, I guess just one. <laughs> All right, then I think it is time for time to pass. Um, my little strategy gambit that I've been using my character ability for has not really paid off yet, but will start paying off now. Uh, so I'm finally free. I can finally talk again. Yay! Yay! Juniper Williams has the ability uh, that if Juniper is below top marks when she completes a course, she may gain plus one grade in that course before scoring. And I will indeed bring my A up to an A plus for Magical Ethics, uh, scoring me 20 house points. Um, 
So that takes me from 28 all the way up to 48. What? I'm so far behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't completed magical ethics yet. That's like a huge boost to everybody. It's about to happen. Okay, so we're gonna choose our action mm -hmm. again. Uh, hmm. And we're in the upkeep phase, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you oh. done with your oh, yeah, singing that's right. one yet? You are, you are... Got one more cube to go. Oh, I think that I... Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Oh, did wait. you get your five oh, points? Oh, I need though? to I need to remove one cube from all things. <laughs> I didn't do that. Wait, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> so then I think you're free. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm free. Oh, okay. Super duper, okay. Um, this is quite a magic game, yes, yes, but not like that magic game. And in as things resolve, uh, I have an A plus in magical theory. So you're going up twenty points. So from twenty two to forty two. Hey, not that far behind anymore. I was fighting, not singing. Really fighting it now. All right. <clears throat> um, cool. A gambit here. All right. Um, what? Everybody make your choices, and we'll start with Steve. All right. I chose to conjure. All right. So did I. Ooh. <laughs> it's a side effect of being part of the Whisper Club. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first spell I, I'm going to conjure is Study Buddy. Two heads are better than one. Oh God, this Unless we're horrifying. talking about a Hydra. Choose a course icon. All courses in play with that icon get plus one grade. Um, I am going to choose the, I guess, what is the Earth symbol? Uh, that would be the Earth. Oh, all right. So I'm <laughs> picking Earth. All right. So everybody who's enrolled in a course with an Earth on it uh, goes up one grade. So, yeah. I'm already top. Already top marks. Um, Oh, you know what? Can I change my mind on magic? Wow, I guess grade inflation is pretty real at New World Magiscola, huh? <laughs> I'm going to change my mind. All right. I fucked up. Okay. Um, and then my other spell I'm going to conjure is Good Quill. Definitely an upgrade from those mundane featherless quills. Plus three grade or minus time to any courses, clubs, or equipped cards. Cool. So that is going to be... A plus in magical forensics. That's up to, and then one removed from charm sexes and mind magic. And I'm good to go. So everyone else can play one regular conjure card. That is what I, I wanted. Don't have any of those. I have an animal quest. I'm going to send my familiar on a quest. When the time runs out on this card, they bring back something helpful. Boop. Cool. Uh, I don't have any regular conjure cards. Me neither. I just realized. Did you draw yours for the start of the round? I did not. Thank there you. There you go. Maybe that's going to change. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no change. Okay. Well, close. Um, so then I guess it passes to Mel, to who enroll. chose Enroll. I'm going to check out these clubs. Medieval Literature Club. Mm. Your parents think you're reading great works of literature and discussing universal truth. Truths. Truths. Jokes on them. <laughs> If you play the conjure action, you may choose another player, look through their conjure cards, and play one instead of playing any of your cards. You may only play one conjure card the rounds you do this. Wow. That's pretty brutal. Three time cubes. What a sick power. 
All right. Um, Suck it, nerds. I'm going to just grab a course card and see if I can do it. Oh, interesting. Um, Merfolk Weaving Arts. Uh, play this course on another student. This course cannot be dropped. Uh, keep the card uh, when completed. If not uh, completed at the end of the game, minus six house points. Um, hmm, who is my biggest competition right now? Uh, Do that's, they, don't they have to have the time? That's Steve. And Steve does have the time. Hmm. Uh, so that's four time cubes on Merfolk Weaving Arts. Underwater basket Which is weaving. a useless course that good marks gain you nothing and bad marks penalize you. What a brutal card. <laughs> that would be no bueno. You probably need. Oh, and it is a, yeah, I do. Um, and it is a course, mm -hmm. so I put one less time into it. Yep. Uh, and uh, you do still have a grade on it. Mm -hmm. It starts as a C, unless you have abilities that nope. move around that. Not exactly what I was looking for, but that'll do. Cap. All right, I am doing the enroll deal. So let's get a selection going here. Hmm. Hmm. Grab me a. Oh, I don't have to whisper. Can you grab me a club, please? Yes. Yeah, it's it's hard to leave that prison. <laughs> yeah. I'm enrolling in magical Judas Prudence, which is uh, using magic has rules and consequences. Learn what you can get away with and what will send you to Avernus. Avernus, the wizard prison. Oh. Yes, this is New World Magiscola's. Uh, game that will be kickstarting later this month. Yeah, later this month, about <coughs> partway through September. Not a fan of this club. Not a fan of the club. Uh, it was Cultus Ictus. Honestly, right. you just realized this club is kind of pointless. I, it, I mean, it lets you use other people's conjure cards, which you may not care about. Um, I don't exactly care about it. I chose to study, so everybody gets the uh, routine study action, and I will remove. Uh, two time cubes and bring this course up to an A. Routine study is just one? Or wait? Uh, yeah, routine study is you remove one. Yeah. Um, move one or increase a grade by one. Oh, you did a study, so we can so, yeah. remove, remove, one. remove one. And, and that can be either from clubs or uh, courses. Yeah. Chip away at this boy. And. I am, mm. let's see, I think that's it. So it's time for Mel to take as the wand, or no, no, or Steve to take as the wand bearer, the Magiscola card. Leyline break. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No. All players with fewer than three courses in play Ooh. may draw the top, cor top card of the course deck and enroll in it or discard it. Ooh. Actually, that's oh, pretty good. That's Not actually, bad. okay. Sweet. Thank you. Divination and Arithmancy. Uh, so, yeah, I think I can afford this one. I can just barely afford this one. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I can't afford. Can't afford a flim-flam thing. Yep. Um, so I have... Oh, my, uh, oh, that's right. A animal quest. Divination and Arithmancy. The art of divining, foretelling, and interpreting using a variety of methods, including augury, tea leaves, reading, uh, tea leaf reading, astrology, drowsing, numerology, palm reading, tarot, and more. The end of the game, I get plus two house points for each moon clubber course uh, if I manage to complete this one. Uh, this one does involve reading, which is my weak spot, so it starts at a D. Out of curiosity, how many completed courses and clubs does each player have? Uh, so I have three completed clubs and one course. Two clubs, two courses. Two clubs okay. and... Only one course other than the required course. We're getting so if one or game. if you or myself finish a cor another course, we activate endgame. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, from what it says here. Oh. <laughs> oh, actually, three additional courses on top of magical theory. So actually. Oh, then we have two. So I've got one course. I need two more courses done, and then yeah. Okay. Both of us. Just want to check. Cool. Um, Wand Bear is going to pass yes. to Mel, and Wee -wee. time is going to pass for everybody. Oh, and then with oh. the time thing, 
get to, I guess we'll draw that way for Conjure, mm -hmm. for upkeep. Sure. Do you get to mm -hmm. draw or no? Because of your thing. What do you mean? Oh, that doesn't matter. Okay. That has no bearing on whether or not I draw a Conjure card. James? Yes. Oh, Ooh. hello. What are you? All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Nell is the wand bear, so she gets to make her selection and go first. Um, but everybody else should make their selection now. And go first? All right. Uh, I will conjure. conjure and use the time twister. During the time passes phase, I get an extra minus one time to Ooh. all my courses, clubs, and equipped cards except this one. So it stays with me longer. Three time cubes on it. Yep. That's nice. That's a really good one. And do you want to play your second conjure card? or did... Uh, yeah, we can do that. Um, I have a studious spell. Oh wait, no I can't, because that requires... Five time cubes, yeah. So no, I will not be playing my second. All right, um, I, it will go to me. The first conjure card I'm going to use is the Better Quill, uh, which is uh, minus five time or plus five grades. Uh, I'm going to bring from a D to C1, B2, and A3. Uh, and then I will remove uh, two time cubes here um, for that. Wow. And next, I am going to get a wish. Uh, you discover a genie that lives among the mundane artifacts in the common room. He'll grant you a wish if you discard a conjure card from your hand. Um, it, and the wish is plus three grades or time for me, and minus two grades slash time for each other player distributed as you choose. Um, Dis oh, distributed. So as distributed. So I think you're each gonna, uh, I, I think like one, I'll, I'll hit each He's of you with one. Minus two? It's for you and, yeah, so between, well, no, it's two for each other player distributed as you choose. So I guess I could lump it all onto one player if I wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. Um, so first There's things first, I have us. to discard a conjure yeah. card. Um, and I'll just uh, discard this one here. We're, we're cool, right? I think. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. We're cool, right? Oh, we're very cool. We're cool, right? We've had trials yeah. and tribulations, but we're yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got in trouble for the note passing thing, but like, we're still cool. Hey, my bad. Yeah, no, it's all good. <laughs> um, well, so I have a Choco Cobra car, uh, bar, mm -hmm. and I can play that um, out of turn to avoid being affected by a Conjurer or Magic Skull card. And if the card would impact multiple players, I may choose to shield them from the card as well. Cool. Okay. Mm. Uh, that's great because I really didn't care about that part of the wish. I only wanted to remove three time cubes. <laughs> um, so that is pretty great for me. Um, and that is my turn on, on the conjure. So, and it doesn't look like Cap selected to conjure, so I'm you may studying. do one normal one if yes. you like. Cool, great. Uh, wait, an, or a normal conjuring? Um, yeah. And I'm not, that was out of turn, but I'm not going to conjure. No such thing. <laughs> Actually, one, two, three, four, five. So study time for me then, right? Mm -hmm. Great. And for I, the rest of us, that's just one cube. I'm going to study, and I am going to also deploy my character ability, which is ambition twice during the game. When I select study, I get an extra plus two grades or minus time. Wow, that's pretty rad. So I'm, we're, since we're nearing the end, I'm really going to pour that on thick. And uh, let's see. Take this right on up to A plus. Hell yeah. And bump this guy up to, well, yeah. Bump it up to A. A. Beautiful. Um, that's for study. Mm -hmm. That's for everybody else did their study. I need to do my study. Um, so I am going to 
finish up my time in Charms, Hexes, and Mind Magic, which gives me a plus 15 to my uh, school points. Okay, so. And 15 commanding lead at 62 house points. Boy. All right. Um, uh, that's all the actions, so we come to the wand bearer. Wizard field day. Seriously, go outside. No one may select <laughs> the study action next round. Ooh. Wow. Mm. Brutal. Shoot. Well, that's, yeah. that's going to extend gameplay a bit. Yeah, I'm going to put this bad boy right here mm. for now. Um, and it's with a little that, judgy of them, too. Yeah. They go outside, no, really. It's time for upkeep. Gra draw your conjure cards here. And we also have to do time pass, right? Oh, yeah, time pass. That's important. It uh, looks like pass artificery. Um, uh, oh, that's right. I've summon. got... You can pull two from, two, two from each three, one of these. Four, five, six, what up, seven, nerds? Seven. Oh, this is weird. I think I have completed my medieval literature club, but I don't really get anything out of that. So, huh? Oh, nope. It's not weird. Makes sense. It all makes sense. <laughs> one from that. Great. School's out forever, nerds. No studying. All right, I guess we do upkeep now. So upkeep, draw a conjure card and perform the upkeep action. You took the wand. Okay, good. Like, I already got this one. Did you do your upkeep? I did. Oh, it's a uh, different. Yeah, I, did, I did my upkeep. Oh, okay, then I'll take that one. Cool. Useless. Man, it sucks that there's no studying this round. <laughs> We're so studious. This is going to be a good round for me, you guys. Hmm. Oh, that's really sad. All right, um, so I am the wand bearer here. Ah, boy. What are you doing? I guess I'm going to conjure um, the, the Wendigodnado. Uh, it's not Wendigo, but like, it's like Wendigo related. A Wendigo is rampaging through the campus, help defend the grounds by casting a wind spell to banish the beast. While this card is in play, you may only perform routine actions. Uh, you still select an action, receive 13 house points for your efforts uh, when this completes. You may not use study to increase time on this, or to de decrease time on this. Oh, brutal. Uh, so. Wow. Yeah. It's kind of a brutal thing, um, but I, like it could pay off. I, I don't think it will, honestly, because we just don't have that much time left in the game. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's that's my conjure action. Um, okay, I'm also gonna conjure. Uh, shall I do that? Yeah, do it. Right on. I conjure forth the mega box. <laughs> yeah. The professors use it to tabulate the house points. While this is in play, plus three house points every time you complete a course with a passing grade. Oh, that's Ooh. rad. Not bad, not bad. And I'm going to put down great minds think alike. Each round game. You have to pay time cubes on these, it I, looks like. Yes, I do, yes. So. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I forgot that part. Okay. I'm doing, I'm doing, oh boy. Choices now, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> End game stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna do, damn it, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Great minds think alike. I think Steve is gonna win this one. 
Each round, you gain mm. one house point for each other player who selects the same action as you. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. It could go poorly, but maybe not. Um, we'll find out. Any other conjurations? Yeah, so I guess you're going to gain a point right now because I'm conjuring. I, each round? Maybe? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd, say, I'd say you gain a point because I conjured as well. So um, that's two okay. points to... Uh, okay. So... I mean, I, I hate to do this, but I've got to keep my control in the li- in the lead. So uh, I'm going to be casting Squonk. Uh, you've stepped in a puddle of Squonk tears, and a uh, very sad water dog thing. Mm-hmm. Choose a player and add a time cube to each of their things with time. Son of a bitch. And then I'm going to cast Charm Animal. I send my familiar to help me learn during time passes. I gain plus one grade to one course within the matching uh, icon. And there's icons on there. Okay. And that's the end of my action. All right. Um, and I get to enroll. I get to enroll. <laughs> Doing courses. Took that class. I think I already took that class. <laughs> mm, can you take the same class more than once? I don't know. Uh, I don't think the rule book says anything about it. We could like assume that it's, you know, like photography two, <laughs> and you've already done photography one. That's true. Yeah, I, I think, I think it's fine. Cool. Oh boy, Merfolk Weaving Arts 2. Yeah, advanced. Yeah, advanced Merfolk Weaving Arts would be a thing. <laughs> then I will enroll in Magical Combat and Defense. Yeah. Two. Guns, 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 two. <laughs> All right. So I think it is now time for the Magiscola card. Um, Happy Yule! Everyone gets into the generosity of the season by giving one conjure card to the player of their choice. Wow. Um, well, I'm just going to give this to Cap because I feel I feel bad for Cap. Oh, an out-of-body experience. You shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have. Are we all giving someone else a card? Yeah, I okay. would, but... Oh, you don't have any. That's okay. And you gave I'm one little, to the person who's in the lead. I'm oh, a little gosh. thin at Yule. <laughs> I'm not Very a generous. douchebag like this, you. This dude, <laughs> Jack Slater. I no. heard you like mermaids. I think I think that's that's oh. for you. I hope you didn't regift my out of body experience. No, I don't even know what it does, <laughs> but I definitely want it. Thank you. It's very pretty. Um. So now it's time for time to pass. Woo-hoo. And I think I will be triggering oh, Endgame. Oh man. Yep, so the next round is the last round. Steve will not be participating because he has already graduated. Actually, I, I think it doesn't it end so, to so, the very end, so that time passes, I end the game, I think. End game is also triggered. Okay, uh, once a student uh, has passed Magical Theory and Ethics plus any three additional courses um, uh, and two clubs, uh, you gain five house points triggering the end of the game. Okay, so I... I'm not going to get to finish those courses. Yeah, that triggers the end of the game. So, so I get five, five house plus points. seven for my magical three, forensics. Three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Can I get my 15 for completing a class? Absolutely, you can. And that is one, two, three, four, 61. five, six. No, 61. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Second place. All right, so, well, not quite. Uh, we, we, there are a bunch of things that people might have here um, for their completed courses. Uh, Grand games. So I get a bonus to anything with the earth, which is, uh, unfortunately for me, only two. One, two. Um, what is... How do you know? So uh, the at the bottom of your cards here, uh, they'll say, like, gain... At the end of the game, you gain plus two uh, for each card with this. So, like, you get plus uh-huh. plus three house points for each Earth course. 
um, and plus two house points for each dark course. Which is every, every single, single course. One. So two, nice. four, six, eight, ten, and twelve points to wow. you. Um, so that is... I have a brand. 73. 73. Um, and oh. then plus three for each earth. You that's only have one, one earth, earth, but that's one, two, and three. Right now, you are in the lead, hon. So... And One, let's two, see, three, do we, four, we have five. any? I've, I've got like a thing. That? It ain't much of a thing. Um, my magical creature care gives me plus two for each snipe thing. So I got the choir. That's got a little dealy and bobber well, thing. And and so that's have, four it, total. Yeah, so it, it counts for itself. It counts for itself, okay. yeah. So that is 48 for cap. So for endgame stuff, mm -hmm. I get... Except for that first card, which is plus two house points for each Dark Horse Club. That's one, two, three, four, five, so that's ten. I have another card that gives me <sighs> plus two house points for each Dark Horse slash club. Dang it. So that's twenty. And then plus two house points for each wow. mundane. Oh, man. Which so is plus two, uh, four, so that's twenty-four points. Twenty-four points, yeah. You, um... <laughs> Let's just say you won. Ninety-eight. Yeah, ninety-eight. That's it. Uh, so... <laughs> That, that means uh, that Mason Dubois has won along with Steve, uh, so congratulations. Uh, and that is that is New World Magiscola uh, House Rivalry. Uh, this is going to be available on Kickstarter mid-September. Uh, watch our Twitter and the New World Magiscola Twitter uh, for updates on that. Um, but yeah, I, I like this game a yeah. lot. Um, it's sort of like a fun resource management game with like... A lot, like, I, I really like the mechanics that are singing and whispering and <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, one of the things that propped up in a playthrough that we did with uh, Pranks was the debate club, which uh, is similar oh, to the singing boy. thing where you have to begin every statement with, Wrong! Um, oh, no. <laughs> which is even better when somebody is trying to just explain rules and has a bunch of rules <laughs> questions. Was that... Was that Pranks who got that? Uh, Pranks got that, yes. Of course and he did. I also got that. Oh, it was God. it was very, very good. So there's like a lot of lighter game mechanics mixed into what I think is actually a pretty great rules uh, or uh, resource management and uh, worker placement game. Um, and, it, you know, it's, it's New World Magiscola. I really like that universe, and I, I'm, you know, looking for more excuses to sort of dig into it and uh, this board game is a great way to do that. Uh, so if you're curious about Magiscola, uh, head over to New World Magiscola and check them out. Um, I want to point out before we cut the stream that we are playing on a Carolina game table. Uh, you can check out uh, more tables that are beautiful like this one at carolinagametables.com. This is the streamer model, a table that is specifically designed to be filmed. If you are not a monster like me and you just want a normal dining room table, uh, they have non-trapezoidal frames as well. Uh, I, I think it's a really great company and a well-built table. I want to thank Cap for joining us again. Thanks we, for having me. You don't always get to see you, Cap, and it's, it's awesome when yeah. you're in town. Um, this is a blast. I really, I really enjoyed this. Yeah, uh, I, I love Magiscola, and I, I think this is just a rad board game. But uh, see you next time, heroes.